Hold on. Hold on one second. Computer, turn on the studio. Okay. There. That's a lot better. Today, we are going to take a look at the Hypercube 10, which is from a company called the Hyperspace Lighting Company. Pretty stoked. We're doing an update here in the studio. Or I should say an upgrade. Hold on one more second. There is also a stand that comes with this light so that we will basically put the light on the stand. Maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't. Stick around, let's check it out. Just to be fully transparent, the Hyperspace Lighting Company did not send this to me, uh, the light nor the stand. This is not a sponsored gig or you know paid for or anything like that. This was sent to me by someone that actually watches my live streams. It's a Franimal. Thank you so much. We love you long time. And uh, I appreciate you immensely. And I appreciate everyone that's been supportive of the live stream. So let's unbox this thing. Now, I think I kind of goofed when I said that these things come together. You can order them together, but this particular setup was actually purchased separately. So you can get just the light, you can get just the stand, or you can get it as a package deal. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. Let's cut. Now to save some time, I went ahead and took the base out here and you can see it's got like a mirror infinity cube a really nice design let's see the back here it looks like it's actually solid wood and it has some uh, cork padding here uh, to set it down so let's just move all that out of the way and it comes with these rods here pretty self-explanatory you just want to basically put these in the holes so there's six holes here there's six rods just insert that push them down into the base and that will conclude the base here which you can see there's a lot of light shining on it because there's a lot of light in the studio so let's move on to the light now one of the things that kind of worries me is that if you look on amazon just to be truly honest here uh, there's a lot of reviews that say the light came damaged so i'm really hoping that that's not going to be the case so we have a manual here, which we'll set to the side because who actually reads those? Um, just kidding. You should probably read it. Uh, and then let's see what we have in this box here. We have power source, which is a 110 plug, by the way. So it plugs into a wall receptacle, um, which is good. I have so many things that are USB, but it's nice to actually see that it's a 110 receptacle. Let's see what else we have here. We have... Some kind of adapter. We'll set that out of the way for now. Um, we got some. Looks like it's packaged pretty well. There's a lot of this uh, foam inside of the box, so I'm really hoping that the reviews online won't be accurate in my case. And here we have the light itself. So this is the this is the ten. The Hypercube comes in. And more of the foam here so it looks like it was packaged to make it to you without harm uh, however like I said I can't speak for everyone but so far I don't see any signs of damage on this unit so all right let's uh let's get it out it's, and it's really 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 light so that tells me there's a lot of plastic Maybe the plastic is thin, and that's why people had damage. Or it could just be that it was shipped and damaged by the shipping. But so far, uh, I don't see anything that tells me this unit is damaged, so that's a plus. And just, you can tell it's really a lot of plastic. So, a lot of people had, like, broken corners, um, things of that nature. But, I think we're solid. Let's get this part and move ahead. Now that all the protective plastic is off of it, we basically want to take these pins. There's a pin connector here for your power switch. It goes directly to the cube itself. Uh, so, you just want to line that up. Okay. Got a little piece. Kind of tells you where to place it. I'm going to insert that in and then screw that together. 
So now the power switch is connected. I want to take the bread tie off of here. You got a good college for this? Maybe. All right, so then put that there. Insert your power piece here. There we go. Now we do this. I'll plug this into my power strip down here. Uh-oh. We have a light that comes up. Uh-oh. We're powered up, baby. We are powered up. Let's see. Oh, Lord. There is an app that comes with this device. So we're going to download the app. Whoa. We're going to put it on the stand. I mean, I think the exposure might be... We're going to have to turn down the brightness of this thing for sure because my cameras are all set to manual. So this light, as bright as it is, will just throw my cameras all off. But you can see it's powered... Oh my gosh, dude. Wait, that's pretty... That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, let me, let me get the app on my phone and let's turn down the brightness a bit so you guys can see this better. One second. So now I have the app on my phone. Well, that light's not helping, but the app is really easy to install. And as you can see, I've got the brightness turned down a bit. You can get really bright with this thing. Now, again, my cameras are manual, so uh, I got to turn it down to about maybe here. And you can see that that is pretty awesome. So let's get this on the stand. Let's figure out how the stand works. Okay, so maybe the, it's got to be like this. No. Um, hmm. Hold on. Let's read the manual. Something I never do. Let's check this out. Kind of hard to see what is. Oh, okay. I, I see. I see. So it goes like this. Right, and then you want to have probably the cord side. So something to this effect. Maybe it's more like here. Ah, like this. There we go. All right. We're going to turn the lights off. Now that the lights are off, we can get into the real fun. So when you download the app, you're going to have patterns, colors, more favorites on the bottom now i'm just downloading it i'm just getting into it myself so in colors you can go to colors and you can actually start to there's a drop down menu at the very top and it says default or you could right now i've got it set to a color but you can start to go in there and start to play around this thing is so crazy like when i'm standing here looking into it it is definitely infinity it just keeps going it doesn't stop so let's uh, play with different colors and see what happens. Right now I have it set into, uh, oh my gosh. Right now I have it set into kaleidoscope mode. Uh, you know, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but let's try this. Let me pick this up. Oh my gosh. It just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes, dude. So that is pretty cool. And then you just have to set it back like that. No, like something to this effect. You just got to play around with it. Obviously, it's uh, it takes some engineering here. But uh, all right. Let me get the uh, app open again. Got my phone locked out. So let's try this one. Whoa. I'm telling you, this thing is pretty cool. Ocean. Let's see what ocean is. Nice. It's got like an aqua kind of color. Let's go spectral. Now, let's go back to patterns. Meditative just kind of makes it solid. And just does some glowing stuff there, as you guys can see. And fix pattern. Stay on current. Breathing. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff here. Luminous ether. Whoa, dude. Um, Dynamo. Let's change colors. Let's go back to colors and let's choose. 
ultraviolet. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa. Okay. I kind of like that. Let's go back to luminous. There we go. More reds and greens and yellows. <laughs> this, you could probably get lost in this thing and play with it for a long time. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to just have it, um, to just have it kind of do its own thing and just go through all these uh, return to mode. None. All right, let's try. There's so many different ones. Holy moly, man. Uh, grand. All right. Hyperbolic manifold. Whoa. Uh, okay, so then let's go to, I don't know, orbital loop. Jeez, man, this is crazy. Uh, all right, let's go to, oh my gosh, it's just running through all, all kind of colors. All right, you know what? Let's put it where I'm going to put it in the room so you guys will get an idea of what it looks like once it's actually where I think it should be. So let's do that. I'm personally thinking like right over here. We're going to move the HS. We're going to move the um, glass sign that I have there and we're going to place it back there. Now it should fit under the shelving. I hope so. So let's try it out. Yeah, something like right about there. Perfecto. Now I just got to play with the uh, colors or whatever I might want, you know? But that's the Hypercube 10. Like I said in the beginning of the video, and I didn't even complete the thought, they make a 15. Uh, and they also make a Nano. So they make the Nano, I think, is 6 inches. And obviously 15 is the big boy. And this is the 10. But I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, and I just got to clean up the wire a little bit underneath the desk and all that stuff. And that's pretty much it. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe. And oh, by the way, I also upgraded the RAM, uh, in this computer here. So now that's up to 64 gigabytes overkill, maybe, but why not? You know, um, anyway, I'll probably do some more content. I have some other stuff over here that I need to unbox. So like I said, be sure to hit it, turn on the bells and all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. You guys take care. Adios.